Today we are going to be comparing the OnePlus 7 Pro versus the iPhone XR. And for the price, they're about the same, but everything on paper looks much better on the OnePlus 7 Pro. On the OnePlus 7 Pro, the firmware update I'm on right now is 9.5.5, so I think that's the latest one I have with the camera improvements. If not, then I will let you know in the future. This is the low light front facing test and I'm in a really, really well lit area right now. There's a bunch of lights around me, so it should look fairly good. Let's move on to the next section. For the front facing camera, the iPhone's really soft, pleasant, and it looks more inviting with a lot of good bokeh. On the OnePlus 7 Pro, the blacks are more crushed and it has more of a contrasty look. So it's more of a self-preference thing, you guys can choose which one you like better. For the back camera, the iPhone XR gives off a really cool and blue look. I like the colors more on the OnePlus 7 Pro because it looks more natural with a warmer skin tone. You are pretty zoomed in so sometimes you won't have space to take a good portrait photo. And you can't edit the background blur. On the iPhone XR, you can actually choose how much you want. Whereas on the OnePlus 7 Pro, I can't really find a place to do that. For the back cameras, the OnePlus 7 Pro obviously have three lenses while the iPhone XR only has one. During bright daylight, they both look really Really good and you just have more options with the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now to look at all these different pictures from the OnePlus 7 Pro, they all kind of shift a little bit, it's not too much. On an ultra wide angle, it loses a little bit of contrast so it's a bit more flat than the main camera. But nonetheless, the OnePlus 7 Pro still has the more contrasty look than the iPhone XR. For me, the OnePlus 7 Pro's only advantage is the ultra wide angle lens. When moved indoors, that's where I see and feel the difference or the performance difference between these two phones. A really good example is pets, they don't stay still or they always move around. Every time I hit the shutter button on the OnePlus 7 Pro, it's never sharp and you can actually feel it after you press the shutter button, you can feel that tiny lag. Even though it's still daylight and the windows have a lot of sun coming in, it doesn't really make sense where the iPhone XR, once you hit the shutter button, it just snaps and it just takes a really good and sharp photo. So I went outside to shoot moving cars and it looks pretty clear. So when you're outside with the sunlight, taking moving pictures or moving objects looks pretty sharp, but once you step indoors, that's where you see the biggest difference. Taking pictures of objects in portrait mode, it's obvious that the iPhone XR can't do it, not on the stock camera app at least, but the OnePlus 7 Pro can easily do it on objects and animals. Moving on to low light, the biggest difference is color. The iPhone XR is more flat, which is obvious, and the OnePlus 7 Pro has more contrast. The nice skin mode does make the whole image brighter, but that also introduced weird artificial lights, artifacts, and more noise. And for the ultra wide angle, I would definitely stay away from it in low light. It looks so much darker and it causes weird flares on light sources. So I've decided to try to zoom in on iPhone XR and see the quality difference between that digital zoom versus the optical lens on the OnePlus 7 Pro. To be honest, I'm still surprised by how good the quality is, but I don't think it's better than the OnePlus 7 Pro. You can still see a lot more noise and a lot of digital artifacts. Is the whole quality far off? No, but it is a slight difference. On the OnePlus, using the camera app during nighttime, it's really sluggish and slow. Just like indoors after you hit the shutter button, you feel that sluggish performance and that's worse at nighttime. So the time between the shutter button and the image being processed, once you move the phone, the image becomes blurry. So I thought of people who's really into that nightlife or people who's into bars or going out to dinner where it's dimly lit, it's either you stay really still or the people or the subjects really need to stay still to get a clear picture. Moving on to video, the stabilization on the OnePlus is a bit better. It looks more like you're on a gimbal, whereas on the iPhone XR, you can still see some of the handheld shakiness and more of the Z axis going on. For the colors, the OnePlus is more natural to the eye, whereas on the iPhone XR, things look a bit more cooler in the shadows and it has more of a flat look. Both of these devices can shoot in 4K60, so if you want to get more frames to do some slow motion action, then it's great. In 4K60, you don't get offered any stabilization at all, so be careful about moving around or walking around too much. For low light video, the obvious winner is the iPhone XR. You clearly don't see as much micro jitters. It still happens once in a while because it's trying to stabilize the image. And that's probably the reason why the OnePlus 7 Pro's image stabilization is still looking better than the iPhone XR because it's doing more of it, therefore creating more micro jitters. So this is where you can decide to either have more stabilization or have less of it but have a much more clear video. For 4K 60 in the dark, it's obvious that the iPhone XR is the winner. You can see so much more noise and artifacts around the floor on the OnePlus 7 Pro. Even spots with a lot of light you can still see noise around that area, whereas there's barely none on iPhone XR. So in general, I don't really like the OnePlus 7 Pro once you hit indoors or nighttime hits. In daytime, it can handle on its own, but there's a lot of other cameras out there that can really perform throughout the whole day. So that is my comparison between these two phones. 
Let me know if I have the current update on the OnePlus 7 Pro. If not, then I'll still address the version I'm on in the next video. But anyways, let me know what you guys think between the iPhone XR and the OnePlus 7 Pro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.